Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and this is week six of my doing 100 weeks of YouTube videos and focusing on living a healthy, happy life or having a healthy, happy life. Focusing on a healthy, happy life. Not really sure how I'm, I know I keep saying something different every week. I'm trying to be consistent, but the idea is for me to just be help, healthy and happy. I just want to be healthy and happy and focus on things that make me happy. And, um, I think God is trying to help me see happy, positive things in my life and sending positive people into my life, which I'm really super grateful for. So um, this week for week six, um, so a week behind, so I'm going to try to remember sometimes my brain works and sometimes it doesn't, but um, social, social being my first area. I have not been very good um, this week about reaching out to people but people have been reaching out a little bit to me which is which is nice um my my friend i don't even know i haven't talked to her in a long time i call her my editing friend maybe uh, <laughs> i haven't talked to her in a long time um i work with her parents her mom mostly on um saturdays she's on the same shift as i am um as an ordinance worker in the temple on Saturdays, so I see her mom, but I haven't seen her, talked to her in probably years, which is really bad. Um, so when she called me, I grateful I actually answered my phone because she has a different phone number and it didn't even pop up in my phone as, as her. So <laughs> I was like, okay, my number hasn't changed, so I guess that's a good thing. Um, anyway, so she actually reached out and called me this week um, about my book, which was surprising, and said she, she would be willing to help me edit it. She's like, I know you wanted me to do that like over a year ago, and I was like, yeah, I haven't really done anything with it since then either. So she's like, well, let me look at it now, and I was like, okay, let's see if we can get you published, because since you're in your accident, you can't do anything, this would be perfect. She's like, I have time right now, and I'm like, okay, we'll see if she actually does and follows through, but um, she said that she would and um and she said that she's enjoying the first chapter so I was like really surprised really grateful chatted with her for like half an hour so it was it was really nice it was a nice surprise and it made me grateful that I answered my phone um and my park friend took me to a chiropractor and get a massage and um she actually took me grocery shopping on the way home, which I wasn't planning on, but I was like, sure, if you want to stop, I'll go. I think I overdid that because I was really super sore. And then I didn't get a ride to my myopractor, and I thought, he's just, you know, over on, anyway, he's probably about a mile away from where I'm at. I haven't actually, like, checked it. It might be less than a mile, but it's it, it's a ways. It's not a like, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's technically within walking distance, but it would take me like half an hour. And I pretty much tried to do it in 20 minutes because I was running late. And so I just walked as fast as I could for about half of it. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to die. And then I was panting and then I got there and then he was like, you're dehydrated. I'm like, I know I'm dehydrated. He's like, you need to drink more water. And I'm like, yep, I didn't bring any water with me. I'm so sorry. And then I was walking home and it was a nice cool breeze afterwards. Like, oh, this is nice. But at that point I called my Brazilian friend and I was like, can you give me a ride home? <laughs> Because I should have just asked her if she could take me, and she probably would have said yes and taken me because it's not that far. It takes like less than five minutes to drive there, depending on lights, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, seriously. Um, but I was crazy and chose to walk. And then I, um, um, I went to the temple, obviously, on uh, Tuesday. And thankfully, the guy that was there actually had his car so he could give me a ride home. <laughs> I was like, yes, I get a ride home. I don't have to walk again. So I was really happy for that. Um, and then we were kind of talking about random stuff. And he mentioned something about, I don't know, it's just this Wordle thing. My sisters and my aunt post stuff on um, Facebook about Wordle, like the puzzle that they do for the New York Times. So I started occasionally doing that when I remember. So he was talking about that too. And I'm like, man, there's like some craze about doing this Wordle thing. I don't <laughs> I'm like, I do lots of other games, but I was like, that's, you know, I don't know. But it's also one you can only do once. It's like, you can't do multiple ones or try it over and over again. And it's like, okay, I just, you know, good at guessing or filling in letters, making things up, but um, not one of my favorite word games I guess um not a huge word games person logic puzzles I like puzzles I like but that's kind of a weird one anyway I know I, I prattle but it was just conversation it's nice to have a random conversation being social there we go it's trying to be social for like the two minute ride that it takes for him to drop me off um or minute ride whatever it's not that far <laughs> it's like three blocks so walking it takes a little bit longer than driving but um Anyway, 
and then um obviously saturday i went and did my my shift which was very nice and i'm very grateful for that um a little sad though because it means that i won't be for the next three weeks um i won't be doing my shift at the temple on saturdays um because it will be closed for general conference on saturday and then they're doing the easter pageant which is exciting but it means that the temple will close early on those days so before so it'll be open in the mornings it just won't be open in the afternoon which is when my shift is so i'm actually i'm kind of torn between like i'm sad because i won't be there but i'm also happy because i won't have to worry about going because i've just been in a lot of pain and just you know grinning and bearing it and pretending that it's not hurting to be there for four hours so um but grateful for my um shift coordinator giving me like a light shift or light load going easy on me and um and then she called to make sure that it was okay if i showed somebody how to do something and i was like yes because apparently every quarter every three months they rotate and have you do different things so she's like just train this person so she knows how to take over for when we come back and i'm like okay whatever it's not hard so um, anyway i don't know what i will be doing for the next three months it doesn't really matter um i just know the next three weeks i won't be at the temple on saturday so i really need to start going as a patron during the week in the mornings um i meant to be doing that this whole year and i was doing pretty good at it missed a couple of weeks and then would go twice in a week or whatever um but i haven't really been as a patron since my car accident it's just i hurt so bad that just doing all the extra stuff so i am slowly getting better it's getting a little bit easier um finally getting to the point where I feel like maybe I can start exercising and it won't kill me but just like little itty bitty exercises not major anything so I'm excited to actually feel like maybe I can start doing that um so that's a good thing <laughs> I think so I'm I'm getting there getting better baby steps baby steps but um still just having pain and it's hard to stay in one position for long periods of time or yeah, especially sitting up, sitting up is the hardest, but also, you know, on my hips cause they hurt too. So <laughs> just anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I'm excited. It was nice to go there, do that. That was my social thing. See people help out a little bit. Um, and then church, I went to walk to church on Sunday and my um, vision board friend offered me a ride and I was like, yeah, I get a ride to church. And then, um, and then on the way home, I had like three people offer me a ride and I was like, I'm good. I'm going to walk because I actually just felt like walking. Like I didn't feel like I would overdid it at this point. I was like, okay, now I have energy and I want to walk. So I'm building up to that. Um, a little bit crazy for me to do the other walking, um, which <laughs> was not the best decision for me. But um, anyway, I am grateful to be getting a little bit more energy and being able to just, you know, at least walk home from church and feel like I can do this. Um, very simple something, but I can do it. So um, baby steps, progress, grateful for that. Um, so emotionally, I have not been doing a whole lot emotionally. I haven't, still haven't been journaling, haven't been processing, dealing with any of my emotions, um, pretending they just don't exist, I think. <laughs> I did have several days, like literally from like Tuesday to like Friday, Saturday before I had to go anywhere. I didn't do anything, didn't shower, didn't get dressed, didn't do anything because I wore myself out on Tuesday, which is probably why Saturday I was okay going to the temple and then come, you know, Sunday I could walk home because I didn't do anything the entire week. So my body probably needed that. But emotionally, um, I don't know. Every time I do that, I just, I think I beat myself up emotionally. I feel like I should be doing something different or doing something better. And I forget to focus on the fact that this is healthy for my body for healing and that maybe there are some things that I could be doing, but I don't need to beat myself up for not doing. Um, so it's kind of one of those in between things, but starting to remember and recognize that my body does need to heal itself and when I overdo and I do crazy things like walking to my myopractic appointment, which is not advisable, <laughs> it's going to wear me out and grocery shopping is going to wear me out. And um, yeah, and actually what happened is I had somebody take me on Tuesday. My friend took me on Tuesday, but then he wasn't there. He forgot. So then I had to go on Wednesday, which is why I walked because I didn't have a ride for Wednesday. I had the ride for Tuesday. Um, so that was another reason. So my week was all messed up. So I guess it was 
you know, Thursday and Friday and <laughs> do anything. Anyway, uh, try to remember two weeks ago. It's fun. So next, next, spiritual. I did read my scriptures and meditationals once or twice during the week, but not very much. Um, but I did go to church and I did go to, you know, to the temple to clean and as an ordinance worker, but not as a patron. So um, have been praying a lot, but haven't, like I said, kind of letting all of those other things slack off. I think it's those old um, default settings of mine that when I'm hurting, when I'm in pain, when I'm sick, I just shut down and I stop doing everything, which is kind of frustrating because I need to take care of myself, but it's a lot harder for me to take care of myself when I'm hurting or when I'm sick and I don't feel good. So um, I just, it's so easy for me to fall into that. Well, I'm just going to lay around and do nothing. And, um, and right now I'm kind of, you know, then my emotional gets going and my, um, I don't know if you call it depression, but negativity comes in to play where I could do more. I should do more instead of being gentle with myself or convincing myself to just do little things that would make me feel a little bit better, like reading my scriptures and meditations. I can totally do that. That doesn't hurt. I can do that. I can write, um, I could write in my journal and it wouldn't hurt me to do that, but it would help me feel better. Um, it doesn't require a whole lot of energy. So <laughs> I mean, it's not like I have to make myself do dishes or other things like that. So, um, it would be better if I would do a little more of that. Um, anyway, that's pretty much, you know, I haven't done a whole lot of that. So beating myself up is not good. Um, so physical, obviously, I did a lot of walking, which I'm not sure how good that was or wasn't. Um, I did finally uh, lose a couple of pounds, I think. Was my weight the same two weeks ago or was it down? I can't remember. Yeah, it was down. <laughs> It was, no, it was down, it went up. No, it went down. Uh, my brain's not functioning. Yeah, it went up a little bit, which is weird. It was like half a pound. It was about the same. So I, I pretty much stayed the same, went up about half a pound, probably because I wasn't eating and drinking. And, and also, I think my, um, my body always puts on weight right before that time of the month. So um, the fact that I only went up just a little bit before that was kind of nice. So it means I'll go down a bunch next week, which is always nice. I always like that. <laughs> anyway, um, I just, again, I've just been, I'm eating healthy foods when I get myself to get up and eat, but I just haven't been taking care of myself. And when I had to get up and go places and do things that I did, and when I didn't, I just laid around and did nothing. So <laughs> and there's no eating and no drinking either. I need to do better on all of those fronts um, and making these videos reminds me that I need to do better on all of those things. So mentally, actually, I was kind of excited that my friend called me about my book. So it kind of got me thinking about it and um, about my book. I still haven't looked at it or worked on my book, but I did. My mentor had sent me like a month ago. She sent me um, a book that she's wanting me to, to review and just make some comments or critique it. So I finally just opened that up and I did it and I sent it to her in an email and I apologized for sending it so late. And she's like, oh, it's okay. I've already made a bunch of changes to it, but thanks for doing it anyway. And it's like, I should have told you not to worry about it. I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, I should have probably said I wasn't going to be able to do it. Not because I wasn't able to do it, just because I wasn't doing my writing and things like that. I'm like, I have the time. I'm just not doing it. And then Anyway, so I'm grateful that I got to be a little bit creative or at least read someone else's work. So I was like, I was reading something, I was commenting on something. So I got to kind of use my mental and creativity a little bit and got to talk to my friend about my book. So maybe it'll get me motivated or excited to start working on my book again. That would be nice. So um, I'm really grateful that someone called me because it gave me that little bit of boost and a little bit of motivation to do something during the week instead of completely nothing. So that was nice. Um, and then financially, I'm not really, I need to be paying attention to my finances. I'm like, oh, I have money in my account, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, probably not the best way to look at things, but like, there you go. That's how it is right now. So, um, anyway, that's pretty much it for this week. Not a whole lot different or change from last week, but, um, I know that I'm slowly physically getting better. And as I physically get better and I start to do more, I will feel better. I also know if I can get myself to work on spiritually and emotional things that it will help me to work on all the other things as well. So um, anyway, <laughs> baby steps, baby steps. I'm trying to remember that and I'm just grateful for 
for God blessing me and for helping me to remember and to continue to do these videos, to have them in the back of my mind that it's something I need to do for me, just for my accountability to help me to stay on track and to remember that I do want to be healthy. I do want to be happy. I do have goals. I do have reasons for doing all of these videos. And hopefully it's um, helpful to other people to see that I'm struggling, that I'm human. I'm not perfect. You don't have to be perfect in any of your goals or struggles or setbacks. It's okay to have any or all of those as long as you don't give up and you keep trying. So <laughs> this is my, I'm not giving up and I'm gonna keep trying. And um, I know that I'm making progress. It's just, um, not as obvious to me as it is to other people always and right now i'm just having a lot of setbacks because of the car accident so i'm not able to do not that i was doing perfect before i know i wasn't but i still feel like i'm not doing as well as i was before but um i will continue to try to get better and that's the best that i can do or the best that i can say and i think that's the best any of us can do so um that's all i have for this week uh if you like these videos you can hit like subscribe share with someone else if you think they'll like it too and i hope you have a great week full of gratitude and maybe find some ways to be happy and healthy too